Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. In this reading, I'm going to look at you and your person. Let you know how they feel about you. Let you know what's going to happen in the near future. <laughs> and more information for you. So keep in mind this is a general reading. So the messages may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. This can also be vice versa. Okay, so what's this person's energy towards Gemini? Okay, I feel those two cards. This person, they seem to be focusing. What is what does it seem like they're focusing more on themselves? Uh, it seems like they're focusing on some kind of um, something they're trying to achieve. They do seem very um into this relationship with you though we do have the em the empress the temperance card um this could be a sagittarius that you're dealing with for some of you sorry i have to pause for a second so this could be a sagittarius for some of you let me see what's what's gemini's energy towards their person what's gemini's energy okay towards their person Wow. King of Cups, Six of Cups. You have a lot of love for this person. You may be missing them if you are in separation with this Six of Cups. Could be wanting to reconcile, wanting to reconnect. And also contemplate in being the one to reach out with this Two of two of Wands. This could be a long distance relationship for some of you. Let me see. What's the energy? Recent past energy. Okay. Recent past energy of this connection. The energy of the connection is the Ten of Cups. So there's a lot of emotion there. The recent past. Some of you, this could be a fairly new connection with the Ace of Cups being the recent past. Because some of you may have just connected with this person, just met them for some, for some of you. But Page of Swords, there was this caution um in the beginning very cautious some of you may have um come out of relationship and then gone into this relationship so you were kind of cautious but there seems to be a lot of love however on their side of things looks kind of concerning because they just have the eight of pentacles and the six of wands what's the energy of this connection energy of this connection already have the ten of cups someone may have suddenly left here there seems to be a lot of emotion there seems to be communication coming up but somebody may have walked away suddenly with the tower suddenly walked away we have the hierophant here I don't know if one of you is married, but it seems that somebody walked away suddenly. It's almost like a ghosting situation for some of you. Let me get a message from this deck, see what's going on. Okay, forgiveness. Start focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay, let me see what this person would have to say to you. Especially since it looks like they walked away. What does this person have to say to Gemini? What's their message to Gemini? Okay. So we have I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship my life won't be the same i miss you more now that we are apart i still feel your presence your energy around me so they may have made a mistake by walking away but i need to get to this i need to see what this person is feeling because 
I'm seeing what you're feeling, but they've I just gotten like a blank statement from them, from their energy towards you. So let's see. Give me a spread for Gemini. What can Gemini expect here? What can Gemini expect from this connection? How does this how does this person feel about Gemini? Spread the Gemini. Okay, you got the King of Cups again. King of Cups again. And you're seeing the, your person as the Hermit. So they have become distant, they have pulled away. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. sword so a sudden cut a sudden separation they do have the tower here so I don't know if something happened in their life that caused them to pull away from you suddenly because they do seem to be experiencing a tower moment so it could be that that affected the relationship we have the seven of cups is how they feel so they're really indecisive here but this is someone who does, they seem to have feelings for you. They just may be indecisive. And them viewing you as the Four of Swords. So they know that you are, they may feel like you were taking a break from them before they walked away from you. I'm getting that for some reason that they felt that you were distant first. So they became distant. That makes sense. I don't know. I know Gemini can, yeah, you guys can tend to be distant without really doing it intentionally or noticing. So this person, it does look that way that they felt you were distant. So they didn't feel like it would be a big deal for them to pull away for some of you. Okay, but your feelings for them seem really strong. We have the Five of Swords. In the center, we have the six of pentacles as what's blocking. So some of you, it could be that there is someone else. I did, I did feel like one of you might be married or like this person was married and they went back to their spouse or you were married. They decided they didn't want to date someone who's married. That applies for whoever has a marriage situation going on. I don't know why that's coming up. But I know it's not for everyone, but there is this situation where someone's walking away from the conflicts they may have been some conflict and someone's just kind of distancing distancing themselves from that the conflicts could have been surrounding the fact that someone may have another person involved but we have the nine of swords also the queen of swords so this is like there's just a lot of anxiety let me clarify some things. Hold on. Show me the near future for Gemini. Near future for Gemini. Okay. The Hermit again. Virgo energy. You are going into... I mean, there is this whole thing where you're going to start feeling more stable. I don't know if you meet someone new or if you like meet this king of pentacles, male or female, someone who's more stable, but there's this stability that you're going into in the near future with the king of pentacles. With the seven of wands in reverse, it could be that you come out of separation with this person, like they want to push you away and then they they come around but the page of cups in reverse there was some emotional it seems like this person may have been dealing with some emotional immaturity or just being unable to reveal their emotions unable to express emotions so they may come forward and do so but this is looking very questionable 
Why are they feeling the Seven of Cups? Why is this person feeling the Seven of Cups? They're indecisive about moving forward. You may have some level of immaturity, like they they still have maturing to do with all the pages that are coming coming up. Could be dealing with the Leo. Why the magician? So I do see some of you are either um, reconnecting with someone else from the past. And you kind of ended up with both these people, like this person and someone from your past. Um, and you kind of find yourself juggling. But it, also reconnecting with this person. There is some kind of reconnection. There's some connection to the past and, and emotion. Someone you have feelings for or had feelings for. So I don't know if it's just this person is returning or someone else from your past comes up and there's still something there and then you still have this person but they walked away from you so you can't really think about them because they walked away and then they come back and then it creates this whole triangle which is just soap opera looking but i hope that makes sense the way i just explained it basically someone from way back in the past comes back and this person also comes back because they seem to be either unblocking you if you are blocked or like no longer pushing you away. So you end up with two on your hands and having to make a decision. This probably explains your anxiety in the near future or this being your outcome because then you have to make a decision, you know. Okay, hold on a sec. Fell on the floor. Okay, what's with this tower? Why is this person having this tower experience? Clarify the tower. Oh, this person was shocked by their feelings for you. Their feelings for you were the, was the tower. So they may have got, they may have caught feelings for you and then ran from these feelings. The Hierophant, things got too like structured, like the Hierophant is about commitment, you know, doing things the right way, the old fashioned way, the traditional way. So they may have been just shocked by how they feel and where things were going. It looked like they were actually heading down the road of commitment and they were like, whoa, wait a minute, this is happening fast, especially with the Knight of Wands being here. It seems like they just went out ready for like, like they need to that mentally they need to catch up with their emotional states they haven't caught up with it yet so it's like they pulled back why the hermit why the hermit yeah you know this person's hanging around but they are distant they may have had a change in perspective some of you may feel like you're, you've been waiting or you're going to be waiting for this person. Why the Six of Pentacles? Why the Six of Pentacles? Yep, third party situation. Suspicion of a third party or somebody in this connection having a third party. This can also speak of the fact that you might end up having two people on your hands. Not that you wanted it to be this way, it just... For some of you, it kind of ends up happening this way because you reconnect with someone that you like and then this person shows up again and it just kind of ends up being that you have two people. So it's not like, it's not that you're someone who juggles or dates multiple people at once. Some of you might be, but <laughs> it just ends up happening this way. So this third party, these third party indicators can just be speaking of that situation that may happen. What's with this nine of swords? Clarify the nine of swords. The Gemini's outcome. Could be dealing with a, an Aquarius. 
with the star, but you're going to be focusing on rebuilding self-love. Coming out of conflict. I feel like you really want to come out of conflict. Running from the drama. Trying to get yourself out of any type of dramatic lifestyle. So it's like... I feel like because you've been trying to do that and then you end up with two people, it's like, how did I end up in even more drama? So it's like your goal becomes healing and getting out of drama creating a stable life for yourself creating stability so that you don't feel like you are constantly on the move or unsettled so let's see what we got here Need some insight for whoa gemini okay the card that i keep forgetting to google I'm going to read this once and for all. I don't even know if this is an R or a P, but it's either red. I don't know what it says. I'm not even going to try, but it's, it's in another language. And I read this card as unable to understand each other when communicating. It's almost like one is speaking another language. Someone is speaking another language. Um, so the communication isn't that great. Especially if you've been blocked, obviously, then communication is terrible. But we have optimistic, sorry, optimism and shattered. So the shattered connects with the tower moment, the fact that they may have suddenly walked away. But I see you still staying optimistic. We have boundaries. You may be setting boundaries when this person returns because they seem to have shocked you and you're just like, look, I'm not going to deal with that again. So you need to figure out what you want. All right, love messages for Gemini. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So one of these options is unrequited for you. Like one, you're going to start feeling like you're not connected to. So that will help you make a decision. We have new love, a new person instead. Your romantic feelings told you somebody else could come along for you. And you might have to choose. We have flair, extend your lighthearted energy towards others and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I really see you flirting and being out there. But I feel like you, you start doing that because you didn't know that this person was coming back. So you're just basically doing you, flirting because they left. So you have the right to do what you want to do. But then they come around advice for gemini time to breathe out take time to breathe out a personal issue reaches resolution could be dealing with a cancer could be a cancer coming forward we have you're good enough full moon in virgo we had a lot of virgo energy come out so you're definitely dealing with a virgo what do you need to release? So this is a part of your whole your whole decision making. The whole decision making part of this. So what a story. <laughs> what a story. You will find that stability, but it's just like in the midst of a soap opera. It's like in the at the end of the soap opera, everything works out, but you gotta go through it. <laughs> Okay, so Gemini, this is what I'm seeing for you. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Came out a lot. Aquarius. Leo. Um, Cancer. Those are the main signs. But could be any sign. We have the Knight of Wands. Sorry, the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. King of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Earth and Water, and I'm sure the Knight of Wands came out. I don't know. But this is what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. Check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.